Sometimes, when we're little, it feels like we just can't grow up fast enough. But this is a story all children should hear. Tic-tac-toe. Now the tale can be told. Out in the forest stood a pretty little fir tree. in the forest, dear. And, oh, so sunny. And more fresh air than you could shake a twig at. <laughs> you should count yourself lucky, child. Yes. We didn't have your advantages when we were growing up, dear. No. In those days, there wasn't a clearing here at all. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow! What are those? Little people. No need to whisper, by the way. We've all tried saying hello, even the stones. But they're always too busy to hear us. The village, I'd say. Huh? It's like a town, only smaller. Ooh, and is that where big people come from? Oh, no, no. Little people are just younger, big people. Some come from villages, some come from towns, and some live like we do in the forest. Uh, except they live in houses. Huh? We'll explain it to you when you're bigger. One day I'll be big enough to see all this for myself without having you blocking my view. <laughs> oh. <sighs> now, now, child. Some of us live all our lives without seeing the forest for the trees. Not me. I'm going to grow so huge, I'll look out beyond the forest. Or maybe I'll just uproot myself and go off exploring. Oh, why can't he just be happy how he is? Oh, what a pretty little tree. Oh, I hate being little. Another year passed. Look! A new cluster of twigs. Ha! Soon the birds will be building nests in my branches. That means another whole year must have passed. Happy sprouting day, dear. Yes, happy sprouting day, little fella. Bah! You lot are always talking down to me. I'm not little anymore. I'm medium large. <laughs> oh! <laughs> More years went by. But still the fir tree wasn't happy. What's wrong, child? You haven't spoken a word for days. What's to say? I'm still not big enough. I'm still stuck here, and it's freezing! <sighs> you don't know what freezing is, young fella. You should try being an oak or a birch. Yes, they lose their leafy coats when winter comes. Hmm, but keeping my leaves doesn't stop me getting bored, does it? Oh, why does growing up have to take so long? Ah, there he goes again, wishing his life away. 
Oh, dear. Why can't you just take pleasure in what you have? Like we do. The sunshine, the bird song, the pink evening clouds. Enjoy these times while you can, young fella. For the taller you get, the shorter life seems. Bleh. And that's supposed to cheer me up? Life's short and so am I. <gasps> oh, yes. Here we go. Rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> oh? oh. <laughs> now that's more like it. However, in the autumn of the next year... You should always appreciate what you have, dear. <sighs> like I said, young fellow, the taller you are, the further you fall. So make the most of being young and carefree while you still can, eh? But, but where are they taking you? Oh, this happens every few years. They're going to use us to make things out of. <clears throat> It's only change. Everything old is turned into something new, one way or another. And this time, it's our turn. So, see you around, little fellow. Goodbye, dear. And good luck. Mm. This one? They, they don't want me. I'm way too little. Yes, I'm fancy wincy Nah, maybe next year. Sometimes being little isn't all bad. Well, how should we know where they took them? Yeah, we've been away all winter. Hey, brother. I saw some new ships setting out to sea on my way through Cairo. All smelling of fresh-cut pine, they were. <sighs> uh, yeah, just like this place. <gasps> no, really? What else do you remember, Mr Stork? Well, one ship has these two masts. One's kind and full of advice, but the other... <laughs> He keeps saying they should count themselves lucky they're not telegraph poles. That sounds like them. Oh, how lucky they are to be masts on a great ship out at sea. Uh, by the way, what's a sea? Oh, listen, brother, I have babies to deliver. I haven't got time to explain all that to you. Oh. Oh. Oh, how I wish I could have gone to sea, too. If only I hadn't fooled those people into thinking I was little. Have you learnt nothing, young fir tree? Take joy in being young. Yes. Be happy with what you have. Oh, typical. Now the whole sky is talking down to me. <laughs> Hey, saplings, I've told you before. Stop that, will you? Oh. oh. All right, all right. But just remember, when those nice people come to take me away on my adventures this year, you'll have to find your own styles, OK? But the people didn't take him away that year. Or the next. And now, with every inch the fir tree grew, he grew ever more disappointed. I don't get it. Why haven't they come for me yet? 
Why haven't they come for me yet? <laughs> oh, you saplings are really getting on my nerves, you know that? You saplings are really... We don't know. That's all we saw. We are only sparrows. Oh, those lucky little saplings. That's even better than becoming a ship's mast. How I wish the same could happen to me. <sighs> So the fir tree dreamt only of the day he might be taken away from the forest, the sun and the wind. Until eventually that day came. Uh-oh! Not again! There it is. The special womb. Oh, at last! they finally come for me! Time to emigrate! They think I'm special. I've never been so happy. Oh. Cheerio, sun. Bye-bye, wind. See you, sparrows. Now, now, don't be sad. I'm off to be guest of honour at a party in the town with my very own gold star for a crown. That's what happens when you're special. Bye-bye, Forrest. Love you all. Bye now. Oh. <sighs> Before long, the fir tree found himself standing in a tub of sand. In the most splendid and colourful place he had ever seen. Oh. 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 oh, let us see the tree, Mother. Oh, please, Mother. Now, now, children. Not until all the decorations have been hung. And he was to be the centre of attention. You can come in now. Yay! <gasps> Ooh. Oh, ho, ho! Splendid work, ladies. Quite easily the most wonderful tree I've ever seen. <gasps> That's me? 
Why, they're right. I am beautiful. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, a clockwork nightingale. A box of tin soldiers. Thank you, Mother. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Father. Hey, I'm over <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, what's the use? So the fir tree waited for everyone to pay attention to him again. And waited. And waited. Tell us a story, Father. Yes, a story, a story. Yes, one about a fir tree, just like oh, me. Very well, then. <clears throat> the story of Humpty Dumpty. Oh. Once upon a time, there was a king and an enormous egg. The fir tree's first ever Christmas came to an end. Well... This still beats being stuck in that boring old forest. The real celebration of me is probably planned for tomorrow. Yes, that's it, I'm sure. Ah, so what new honours will the morning bring, I wonder? However, when morning came... Ah, here they are to cover me in even more sweets and toys, no doubt. What are you doing? Uh, uh, oh, uh, where are we going? Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. How could I have offended them? I'm a tree. The days and nights went by. But the fir tree refused to be downcast. I know. They're keeping me warm and dry so they can replant me in the spring. Yes, how thoughtful of them. And then, yet more days and nights went by. Oh, if only it weren't so dark and lonely here. I'd even put up with that little hair jumping over me if I could be back in the forest right now. Cold in here, isn't it? What do you reckon, old Mr. Fir Tree? I'm not old. Where I'm from, there are lots of trees much older than I am. Well, there were. Really? So where are you? From Mr. Tree. Yes, tell us everything. Well, where have you been? What have you seen? What do you know? Oh, I come from the most beautiful place in the whole wide world. Really? You don't mean the storeroom? Ah, mm, cheese, bacon, and cheese, and bacon, sausages, and. Mm, mm, oh, no, the forest. Where the sun shines and the birds sing. So the fir tree told the mice all about the days of his youth. <laughs> <laughs> Even the hare jumping over him seemed a happy memory now. Ah! Oh! you've seen. You must have been very happy there. Uh, compared with here, yes. Yes, I was. Where else have you been? More stories, more! So then he told them all about his Christmas Eve downstairs, when he'd been decorated with toys and sweets and wore a golden star for a crown. And over the next few nights, the mice brought all their friends to hear everything the fir tree had to tell. Even the rats from under the house showed up to see what all the fuss was about. There, the story of Humpty Dumpty, just as the children's father told it to me. Yay! 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 
Is that the only actual story you know, Tree? Well, yes. Don't you know any about cheese and bacon? You know, a storeroom story. Well, no. <laughs> right then, we're off. We found an old sausage peg in the bin and we're going to make soup out of it. Oh. Sausage peg soup? Our favourite. Can we have some? Oh, whatever. Um, well, it was nice to have some company while it lasted. How right the old trees were. Enjoy the good times while you can. At long last, spring came. <gasps> ah, I knew they hadn't forgotten about me. Oh! 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 Where's she taking me? Hope it's somewhere outdoors. Oh, how lovely to feel the wind and sun in my branches again. Hmm, what's that smell? <laughs> uh, oh, look! Our ugly old Christmas tree still has its star on top. Oh, oh, oh. oh, they didn't care about me at all. They cut me down and stuck me in the tub of sand just to make their party look nice. Oh, I want it! I saw it first! And now they're done with me. Well, I learned my lesson. Oh, oh, no, I want it! Oh, 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 oh. But if they don't learn to be happy with all they have, one day there'll be nothing left. <laughs> I won't be sad. It's only change. Everything old is turned into something new, one way or another. And so, he too was turned into something new. Just like his great aunt, the old fir tree, had said. Hello there. <gasps> That's right. You've turned into smoke. You can go anywhere now. Name the place and I'll carry you there. Mm. Of course. I should have known. So his time as a fir tree was passed. But he didn't mind. He was too overjoyed to be home again. Snip, snap, snuff. Enough is enough.